Hey everyone, this is Shohei Naren, and I'm a sales engineer here at Looker. And today I'd like to talk about Looker's embedded analytics solution that we call Powered by Looker. So Powered by Looker lets you integrate sophisticated analytics directly into your website or application to provide new insights to each and every one of your customers. So taking a step back a little bit, first of all, Looker introduces a modern approach to embedded analytics. Now, historically speaking, uh, embedding analytics required tons of data movement and specialized ETL tools and data munging processes and so on and so forth. With other embedded BI tools, it takes months to get your first solution set up. Maybe there's a six month implementation process with expensive consultants. And every time you need to make a change with what you're embedding, you start the process all over again. That's just not the case with Looker. But on the other hand, our philosophy is that our customers can leave their data in the analytics database where it already resides. So if you have data in MySQL or Redshift or BigQuery, some kind of Hadoop cluster, that's fine. You just leave it there. Now, on top of that, our customers would then set up guardrails around that data using what we call LookML. That's our agile and code based modeling layer to define custom business logic and make sure that, that their customers can only see the data they should have access to. So what this amounts to is Looker querying data on demand and providing unique insights to each customer using the same exact data model. And all in all, Powered by Looker includes version control, a robust data model that makes it easy to build new reports and dashboards, uh, and the ability to scale from a few customers to thousands of them. So let's go ahead and see all of this in action. First of all, we're going to use an example e-commerce site, fashionly.style, that we're looking at right now. Uh, and I'll pretend to be a supplier from an individual brand that sells merchandise through this portal. Now, the brand that I'm going to represent is Allegra K. So let me make sure I can log in first and foremost. And there we go. Also, as we signed in, Looker took information related to this account, such as email address and brand name, etc., to filter out data unrelated to Allegra K. Now, this makes external data sharing secure and scalable since you only have to build one template for all customers and simply filter out what's not you know, pertinent data to each and every one of those customers, in our case, Allegra K. And this landing page here is a good example of how the Looker API can be used to expose data. And here we see that Fashionly pulled results through Looker's modeling layer, which makes it easy to show meaningful metrics and not just raw data, and reformat the results to match their branding. Now this ensures that updates to your metrics are reflected consistently across all end users, and the site takes care of the look and feel and additional customization. Now, on the other hand, you could also embed dashboards in an iframe, just like Fashionly did with the Business Pulse dashboard, as we're looking at here. Uh, in this case, Looker owns a lot more of the workflow. So first of all, an analyst went into Looker to create a dashboard. Then a web developer pulled in this dashboard to the portal using a script to embed the iframe in a secure manner. Uh, as an end user looking through this dashboard here, I can all, you know, obviously scroll down and see what's happening, look at some nice charts, but also play around with it as well. Maybe changing the time frame by which you're looking at this date or adding some category filters and get this brand new dashboard result set. And with sufficient privileges, you'll also be able to schedule email reports or even download this entire dashboard as a PDF. As we've seen so far, you know, Looker's user management capabilities make it easy to adjust what and just how much data each user can access. And that started for us with logging in as Allegra K and only seeing Allegra K related details to coming to this dashboard, playing around with some of the filter values as well as with sufficient privileges, being able to schedule email reports and download dashboards as PDF. And at the moment, I only have company overview and business pulse at my disposal. So let's say that that is because Fashionly offers this portal on a freemium basis, whereby paying customers, premium customers, have more self-service functionality available. So in our case, as you can see, we're on the free model, but if I click on premium, now you can see that paying customers have a whole new list of things to choose from. In our example, premium customers not only get more dashboards, but also more interesting filter options. This page combines both the iframe embed at the very bottom here, and also the Looker API at the top to create custom filters to interact with the dashboard, perhaps for a better user experience. 
So let's see, you know, maybe how many orders were placed by female purchasers across all categories except for trousers, focusing on the western end of the United States. And as we do this, Looker is fetching not just the most up-to-date information, but also the most relevant information to that particular person. And with that, we found out that there were 25 new users acquired, and also $5.56 in average order profit. So this is a pretty interesting page in my opinion. Uh, you can see that Fashionly has allowed users to select what they want from a list of canned reports here on the right hand side. So they can come in and take a look at sales by department and category as a visualization, hit submit, and let Looker power the data underneath it. All right, well, that makes sense. But the reason why I say that this is a really interesting page is because there's no additional work done by the web developer to add any reports above and beyond what you see here. So in other words, when you save a new report in a designated folder where all these reports reside, then a new link will simply appear at the very bottom here, and that's it. And on top of lists of canned reports, you can further customize options for users to get access to the data they need by creating custom filters that interact with Looker to surface data tables or visualizations, you know, just like what we saw in one of the dashboards. Or you could also add custom visualizations. And while you know, Looker comes with a set of visualization options like column charts and pie charts, you can also extend that by adding your own JavaScript-based visualization libraries like d3.js and simply use Looker's API to pull in data. Also in our example, we've set this up so that anytime you change the filter values you're passing through, Looker submits a brand new API query to fetch the latest and greatest data in real time. Another really cool feature that sets Looker apart from traditional solutions is that you can give your customers the ability to ask and answer ad hoc questions in a controlled environment like this one here called the Explore section. They're not limited to pre-built reports we've seen so far. As an end user, you might come in and take a look at maybe the number of items sold. We'll start here. And we'll make that into a single value chart, save it, add it to a dashboard, or add something else. We take a look at it by date and filter for the past 90 days. And there we have it. Once users have a piece of exploration they want to save and come back to, they can save this content in their own personal folder or a group folder where they can collaborate with others across their organization. I'll call this items by date. And Looker automatically manages permissions across customers and makes it easy to save pieces of content, as you've seen. In addition, they can download this data, a number of different flat formats, flat file formats rather, or maybe even scheduling this as an automated email report on a certain frequency, maybe a weekly report on Tuesdays at eight o'clock not just to yourself, but also the marketing team as well. I hope that gives you a sense of what Powered by Looker can do for you and your organization. If you want to learn more about this or play around in this fashionly.style site, reach out to us at sales at looker.com.